Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will guide you how you can make dynamically editable fields as text. I mean by in the previous video tutorial, we have created all the fields dynamically editable by clicking on edit. Write this. Now I want to save all these fields as this when I will click on save. Right now the drop down is working like I will click save so drop down is get saved dynamically. But I want also to make these fields dynamic dynamically saved. So we will work on this. <coughs> So here, when I will click on edit button, or oh sorry, edit text, by these line of code, the other fields become editable. And now, I want to make them save when I will click this. So what I will do, I will extract their text like I will copy this first I will copy this class by which I can call them and press F12 place this class here now I will copy this code place this exchange this by okay now what I will say I will say edit to what I will get I am getting this TD uh, but I need for this so I will use its class which is this replace the class So now I am getting this TD. Uh, in this TD, there is input text field. So I would use its children. So now I am getting input field. Now call val to extract the input field value like this. And now uh, copy this go to this function where uh, what is the name of the field let's see name name text is equal and process like this now again we will copy this and paste here to save next attribute which is URL URL text children 3 now we will use this and <coughs> you are seeing that when I will click on save uh, this will get update but it's not get changed so we also need to update this too and <coughs> now we have extracted the value but we have to put that here uh, like this for two and for three URL text make them save refresh the screen and you will observe when I will click on add it the whole row become editable and when I will click save the whole row get dynamically saved now the task is to change this save with added so that we can again edit that 
okay so right after this what we need we need to capture this okay we need to capture this yeah right after when everything is sorted we need to change this by this class and now let's see what's happened when I will refresh on the first click every td of this row become additable now change the value uh, click save edit is change uh, save is changed into edit and these values get changed now click again so it is working now and click save so by this we have successfully developed the dynamically saved event if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun